Hello, you too. So, as the title says, if you're looking at this video post, you're looking for info on how you can cast the screen of your Moto Z Play in a standard form without using Chromecast. Inside the device, you had to be rooted. Again, this is not going to work on a regular device. You'll find this line that it has been um, disabled. If you remove the uh, pound sign, or however you want to refer to it as, as the sign to get rid of the uh, that nulls it. Um, once you remove that little pound sign from the front of this line, save your build prop and reboot. Uh, once you do that, you are uh, all good to have an actual working casting again. So, I'll give you, show you guys this running in a second. I've already enabled it, but I figured I would show you guys the line so that way you guys could see it for yourself. So, with that being said, I'll show you this all up and running. Now, I'm running Moto Z Play, a uh, 32 gig rooted standard regular device bought direct from Moto. But as we always find out, we go into casting and we're missing the regular option where we would have the little three dots. Normally, when you hit more settings, you get the little three dots up at the top. And that gives you the option to connect to any casting device. And that, unfortunately, is not there until you remove the, uh, the line from the uh, RFD persist. Once you uh, remove that line, reboot, get your stuff back to normal, you'll have the option to do uh, enable wireless display. Once you do enable wireless display, as in any previous Android devices, you'll have screen mirroring once again. Now, don't count on it for a lot of other stuff because screen mirroring in this way is archaic. It is slow. I'm running all gigabit hardwired Ethernet. Nothing is uh, per se slow in my home, but even this stuff is laggy. So, I mean, you can see we're running hardwired gigabit Ethernet connection and AC router, uh, WRT AC 1900. So, I have fast internet. I have fast connections, like 180 meg second download over Wi Fi. I don't have issues when it comes to uh, shit being slow. Unfortunately, the uh, as you can see, the delay of what screencasting is is always what it's going to be. So, um, but just so you can f visually and physically see um, everything up and running, you do have full casting from Moto Z. So there you have it. You can change that one line to build prop, and you get all your stuff up and going. And then you can do screencasting. Very helpful if you're running it in a car. Um, doing like Pioneer App Radio or if you're doing any other type of casting devices to get video on your screen or car or if you're just using it as another method to connect to your TV because you have one of those cheap all share casts or something of that nature so um, but like I said as you can see having that up and going is nice it does show we are connected like I said before it does work as we can see verified on the TV I disconnect it boom just like that TV's back to normal. So, there you have it. Casting does work. You will need to have a rooted phone, and you will need to enable one line that's closed out in the build prop. So, this is on the uh, stock firmware running Android 6.0.1, I believe. Uh, like I said, I'm rooted, running exposed, themed, all that other good shit. Uh, but as long as you are rooted, you should be able to do this. I don't know of any other apps that will do it, so try to refrain from asking dumb questions like that. So if you want to do some research, maybe find another way to enable it. If you're not rooted, go for it. But as of right now, you will need to be rooted to get your wonderful Moto Z device to cast. So hope this helps. Likes, thumb up, leave comments. Welcome.